This week's episode is sponsored by Soap Events Limited. They provide soap football, battle tag archery, UV dodgeball, sports days events, inflatable assault courses, plus many, many more activities coming soon. Idea for sports teams, presentations, birthday parties, stag and hen parties, corporate events, school, and half term summer camps, any occasions. Give them a follow and use the code The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly podcast for 10% off your first booking. Tony Morell. Welcome to the Good, the Bad and the Ugly podcast with me, Tony Morell. And this week's guest is Steve Fortune. Really looking forward to sharing the Good, the Bad and the Ugly with the Steve. How are we, mate? I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much for uh, for coming over. And, uh, you know, you've got a, a, a really good story and I'm sure to God... Your story will help so many people out there. And like I say, mate, we've been speaking for a while. Um, you know, we've reached out to one another and, you know, you've got loads of stuff going on. And also, mate, you know, I know you've got a very, very powerful story. So I'm just going to get right into it, mate. Yeah, and I just want to start from where you like grew up, where you're from, school life and family life was like. Yeah, so to, I'm, I'm from the, the we call it the Bakeys, mate. It's, 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 it's like Reed's Road and I, and it's, when I was a kid, um, it was, it was, a, it was, a, it was a, it was a boss of state to grow up on, you know what I mean? It's the, it, it was like it was like it was like the Wild West, mate. You know what I mean? But, uh, <laughs> like most council estates. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's it. I'm I'm a council estate kid. You know what I mean? So to, to us, it's it's normal, innit? You know what I mean? But it, it was it, it was boss, mate. But uh, yeah, it's, it's from a young age, mate. It was um, it, it was just you know don't play, playing out on the streets. It was like we had, around on the estate. It was all like you know like derelict flats, like derelict shops, and that's maybe all. a den. So that you know, play, that yeah. was your playground, yeah, mate, yeah. you know what I mean? Climbing up drain pipes, up three story flats. <laughs> no <laughs> fear, isn't it? No fear at all, mate. But uh, he, even like on, on the estate, it was like you're always looking up to the older lads as well. Do you know what I mean? But to uh, to, to come up on them estates, mate, you've, you've got to grow up fast. Yeah, like quick, mate. You, know you know get left I mean? behind, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Or so I've got a brother and a sister, mate. Yeah, they, they, my brother's the oldest, my sister's the, in the middle, and I'm the youngest. You're the youngest of the three. Yeah, yeah three of us. The worst, the youngest, and the worst. <laughs> <laughs> there was a um, primary school and stuff like that. Was it? You know, yeah. Do you, know, do you know primary school for me, mate? Primary school was boss. Like it's, it's far back. Like I, I, I like primary school. I don't, I don't well in primary school, mate. You know what I mean? But uh, it was just, it, it wasn't until I got to like uh, the seniors, yeah. like it, it, it all changed. But going into the seniors from, from primary, I went into like an all right, like an all right class, you know, like an all right, with, with, with like the people who was there with. But it wasn't until like when you get to the seniors, if you're not learning quick, yep. you just, they just leave you behind. Yeah, you, you fall behind, I mean? don't they? Yeah. Yeah. So it was like one, once I got to seniors, after that it was like going into second year then, that's when I started like. I was just getting left, mate. Yeah. That's when I started finding out then it was, it was a bit dyslexic, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I wasn't picking things up as quick as others and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, I'd say that it's sc- sc- the primary school, mate, I loved it, to be honest. What school did you go to? What, what was your school? Well, St. Thomas of Beckett was the seniors. Um, that was the senior school I went to. It was, St. Thomas was all right, mate. I, uh, I liked it there. I got on with a couple of teachers, but as I say, it wasn't until second year, sen- uh, second year, that's when I started like getting left behind and sort of you could see then it's like no one wanted to know and stuff like that. So I had nothing else to do then but to start becoming like a little, little twat. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> was you a class clown and stuff like that or was you just fucking yeah, yeah, that's just mischievous? It, it's, yeah, it was, it, it was mischievous but it's like uh, the teachers the teachers would get you because I couldn't, I couldn't really read or write me. The yeah. teachers are used to like, they'd get me on little things like they'd make me stand up and read that out no one quite, no one quite well. Couldn't read it out, you know what I mean? Yeah, you yeah. Know, on, on the spot type. Instead of things, trying so. to help you, they were trying. It was to... just like you know what I mean, like it's just. It's... And at and at that age when you like, and especially with lads and stuff like that, you you, you fucking and you're probably frustrated and yeah, that's and it. you don't want it. You don't so when you're at that age, you don't really want to ask for help because you feel embarrassed. Yeah. That's, when you, that's when you that's when you realise whether you're an angry kid or not. Then yeah, you start getting the buttons are getting pushed in it, and then you start reacting. And you're a young lad growing up, yeah, yeah. hormonal and all that as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But. Oh. Uh, yeah, so uh, going from there, like it was a um, it, it, going into like third year seniors was a uh, that's where I ended up here. Uh, I got expelled in third year. I tried to uh, they, they sent me to some place in um, in Kirby called Centre Sixty Three. It was like I went I went really down. So because I was acting out, they put me in this other classmate, and the class was like that was just you weren't learning nothing in there at all. So yeah. I started acting out then, and. Uh, he sent me that's they said to get me out of there, they just sent me to this place, Centre 63. And when I went there, I mean it was just it was just full of wild kids. 
So it was a place where, you know, like from each 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 wild kid from each school, they yeah. got sent to that one place. And then you're in there, it was like I thought I went I think I went there for about three months or something, and I was like, I, I said, I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going back to the early. Like, yeah, yeah, it was just fucking... Yeah. But the, it's, the, 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 when we went there, it, it, just, it didn't start till half nine. When we marched, she left my sister to get me up, and I was just like... Tell your sister to fuck <laughs> Yeah, your sister's trying to... Your mum's gone to That's, work, yeah, and that, yeah, like... Say, no one's in, and my sister's trying to get me up. I'm like, fuck off, Dan, I'm not getting up. <laughs> <laughs> your poor sister's getting it yeah, up your mind, and that, yeah. yeah. Fuck but do you have any hobbies as a kid growing up as well? Do you know? Yeah, so I went into the, I went into boxing because it, it was a bit wild by ours. So you're always like, you had to, to look after yourself. Yeah, you had to like, you had to know to use your hands and that by ours. Otherwise, you were just, you were just going to get, get bullied. Get, get bullied, mate. You know what I mean? So my ma, my ma took me to boxing. It wasn't even my half it. It was my ma. So I started <laughs> the boxing. And, uh, Which boxing club was it? So I and ABC it was, mate. It, the boxing club was brilliant. It was like, the old fella Bryn Bryn Fairlong, his name was. But it was like a little shed. It stunk, mate. <laughs> it, it <laughs> you was, just remember the smell it, when you walked in. God, it's it stunk in there, like. But that's where we all went. You know what I mean? But he he sort of he helped us out with bits of like discipline and stuff like that. But that's what they do, it, and yeah, it, yeah. and he gives his time up yeah. to obviously help like the lads off the estate and even the yeah. girls off the estate to learn a bit of discipline that's and learn it. a bit of respect. And I think well, I, mean, I remember he see he see he see me fighting one time on the field by the by the gym, and he left me there, but. You see me about three days later, right? And he fucking chased me down the street. He was like, if you're going to fight... <laughs> you're going to get in the gym. I'm teaching you this. Yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah. <laughs> so boxing was that sort of like, is that what you wanted to do then? Or? To be honest, mate, right? It, was, it wasn't like... Um, it wasn't something I wanted to take up, but when I, start, when I started it, I caught on to it quick. So you, you adapted to it? Yeah, yeah, like fast. And I, I was pretty good at it, you know what I mean? So... It, I kept that in like all all through school. It was like that was like that's where discipline first started coming into it. I love like going out, running, going to boxing, keeping fit. That's that's like I could always express myself physically. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's I was always good at that. That was something that you were fucking yeah, good yeah, at. And you, do you know what I mean? And I always, like from a young age, I knew I could, but I was never good in classrooms or like, like as I say, dyslexic. I couldn't read, couldn't write. But I could always express myself in a physical way. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, I could run far. I could. I could push myself as a kid. I could, I don't know what I mean. I was always sparring all the time, but physically, I, I was good. Just, just like classroom stuff, I was just, I was never good at it. Yeah, no, never. that's it. And you found something a path that you probably wanted to lead. And yeah, yeah. And with the boxing, it's like you know, it's a, a career that you wanted to pursue. And yeah, yeah. So obviously, on in Heighton, there's a lot of good people from. I lived on Fincham, Fincham Close. That's where where I met my missus on Fincham Close. You're from. Um, Reeds Row Bakers. Reeds Row, the Bakers. A lot yeah. of people, good people from Aiton and that. Yeah, yeah. Still friends with people from there today. Yeah, yeah. So, so I grew up with a lad. Uh, he, he's, he's still my mate now. Obviously, like when we were kids, he he was a uh, he wanted to come on a path with me. He was he was a bit older than me, so he ended up like it. It just shows you how two lives can change because he was waiting to for me to uh, be able to join because he was a bit older. Uh, but he uh, he ended up he ended up getting nicked. You know what I mean? But it was like that time he was waiting for me, and then it's like he went that way then. I went you can either either take way. that path or take that or path. Or take that path, but it's like it, it, I, I, I wish we were the same age because he would he would have been on the path that I went on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. To, get, to get in the army and stuff like that. You know, obviously from that age was it? You know, your friend obviously being arrested or whatever, and the path he led and stuff. How, how old was you then? Was it just? Yeah, so we, we we was like that was like around fourteen, fifteen. So he was sixteen, mm. and we, he was able to go in then. But he was he was like. I thought he wanted to wait for me, you know, so we could because we were, we were always a team. You, we, you were together since all the time. We were kids, mate. We were a team, and we we both loved that type of stuff, like you no know, playing. And we always used to play army on the estates. We'd dress up in army things, yeah, and climbing know. on the churches, like getting in the bushes, doing all mad stuff. You know what I mean? It was a, that was our thing that we loved, like. But that's obviously that was what my next question was going to be. It was like, did you always want to, you know, be a soldier? You wanted to join you know? the, the the soldier and me was was that, like I just loved it, mate. Even like just watching it off the TV on the on, telly on and the te- on the telly and stuff like that, like Arnie and everyone just all like I used to watch Predator when I was like eight or nine. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I put Predator on, put Predator. <laughs> <laughs> loved it, mate. Commando as well. Loved all, yeah, all that type of and stuff. All that, yeah. Me, yeah, loved them all. And from there on, from a young age, you thought, fucking, I'm, that's what I'm going. That's what I want. That's what I wanted to do. But it's, with, with the estates, like it's, you, you get caught up in, like obviously when, you, you do, yeah. when you're growing up, it's like I started going out to like clubs at like fourteen. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like I was a uh, was going out to clubs. The clubs were mad. I was uh, in town it. in the Pearl City yeah, Centre. Like the, the paradox, the paradox, and paradox and all that. Yeah, that the first club I went to. Yeah, um, yeah, the first club I went to. But it's because uh, I, I look quite old. No one, you were old. You like you looked older yeah, for your yeah, age. You know what I mean? For me age, but that's like. 
with the clubbing and stuff like that, that's just like it comes with other fucking yeah, shit. You start and growing up a bit too quick, then you know what I mean. Yeah, you start, you're like you're only four. You're thinking, you know, and then you, you think you're you think you're a fucking man, like don't you? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And you're having a and like sometimes you know things will happen. You know what I mean? You could be in town, you could be fucking waiting yeah. for it. I mean, like you're saying, you think you're old enough to. Oh, mate, I, I, I thought I was, I, 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 once I was getting in there, I thought I was a fully grown man. I was 14, mate. Yeah. <laughs> in the paradox as well. In the paradox. Do you know what I mean? Well, mean? I'm in there trying to fight with fellas and everything, and like, bouncing now, sticking my chest out. And when I think back now, I look at my kid and I'm like, fuck, oh, mate. No. I was a baby, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Baby, like. But from there, obviously, with the army and stuff, you know what made you pursue the career that was it that was you just so the the army for me because obviously with, with, with like the, the the estate and that it's like not many people not many people make it off them estates do they mate you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. so it's with the boxing the keeping fit and stuff like that in the back of my mind I always thought I'm going to go I'm going to keep going with this fitness and I'm going to I'm going to try my hardest to get in the army so that I never ever lost that like sight or that goal even though I was on the estates yeah even though it was like the, the going out at that young age and doing doing bits and bobs and whatever but Never ever lost that vision. So I just always wanted to go because I wanted to do my mum and dad proud. You know what I mean? So it, I never ever lost that vision. And when I got the chance to go up, I can remember going to the career's office. And I, 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 when you feel, feel like you've got that break, then I've got a chance here. Yeah, I've yeah. got a chance to do something with myself. I've got a chance to make my family proud. You know what I mean? So once, once, once I went into the careers and spoke Filled to all them, the forms in. I was a bit panicky at first though because you had to do a thing called a barb test. And mate, I'm, I'm like, they ask you the question like, what do you want to go with? So the, like I was like the infantry and a few other things, and then like I got the, the meet me marks with that low on the bar test. He's like, mate, you're only going the infantry anyway. <laughs> you haven't got a choice to go anywhere. Uh, yeah. else, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I was uh, once once I passed that bar test because as I say, I was panicking me because obviously I'm not good in school, couldn't be, couldn't write. Yeah. So uh, once I got that was like that was like my first. You went in the door. That was my first small win in life as well. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? I'd, I'd went somewhere, I'd done it. Probably the first test I'd done. I didn't do GCSEs or nothing like that. That was that was the first test. So you were buzzing inside. I was buzzing inside, and I was like, "How long do I mean? I'm getting somewhere with it." But uh, yeah, and then after that, uh, we went up the uh, after the careers office and that we actually went up. So so once you get accepted into it, like you, the regiment you go into, you go up and you, you get sworn in. Then and that that was like that that the pride. Don't know what I mean? Sworn in. The, the frame of the fella said to me, "You're joining the uh, the best army band none." That's when you go in. Do you know what I mean? You How did take, that make you feel? Did oh, you I was buzzing, mate. Honestly, I was buzzing. Like I could have couldn't have been prouder. It's just like you are not thinking like you, you I'm proud where I come from. I still live yeah, on the same yeah, estate now. Yeah, yeah. But I just want I just thought I had a chance to like I've got that chance to be like to be to be the first. You wanna do but you wanna do better for yourself, but also yeah, you wanna yeah. make your mum and dad proud, proud of the same. Yeah, like we all did, yeah, you know, be, I wanted to be a footballer, yeah. but uh, to play for Everton and stuff like that. But and then you, you get an opportunity for it's like trials and stuff. You know, when when you get that break, there's no better oh, feeling honestly, inside. It was, You're it fucking. Boss. It was boss, but uh, even going into it, like 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 I said before, I'm always uh, able to express myself physically. Mm -hmm. But obviously, it was terrifying going in because I knew there was going to be tests. There was going to be this. Like even when when I first joined, I can remember uh, when we, we, I had to get on it. I was only sixteen, and I had to get. So I hadn't, I'd never been out of item, mate. I had to get on a train, <laughs> go all the way up to Edinburgh. You know what I mean? So I've gone all the way up, but I've met a few lads. That's in... what I was gonna to say to you. What was it like? Well, obviously when you when you've been inducted and all that, yeah. and you, you, you know. So you, you just you just you just get an address. Like like that's where you need to be on this date at this time. So I was like, so my man and I got dropped off at the train station, and then I went there. But I was like in no man's land. But when I got there, seen a few lads with like backpacks and so of... I'm like. Yeah. I, up and asked them. I was like, Are you going to the army? He was like, Yeah, yeah, I'm going up. And then before you knew it, you're you like, there's, there's like, so it's gone from being on yourself to like, to, to, a, fucking... to, to a group of you, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And uh, so that was it. Then we were on the train, but some, some of the lads who, who were met on that day I still speak to now as well. That's that's great you to hear. I mean, so, where, so did you have to go into it like a train? Was it training? And yeah, all yeah. That? It's so we, I went up to Edinburgh to the Glen Course, it was. So we got picked up in, a, in Edinburgh, took up to Glen Course. But uh, as I say, I was panicking because I, I just, I was in the unknown. And I can remember turning up. So when we turned up, we had to, we all had to line up. We all, uh, we had to fill these forms out. When I got there, the, the fellow went to me, what's your date of birth? Mate, I'd never been, I, I didn't even know what a date of birth was. I knew me birthday. But it was like, date of birth. <laughs> and he was like, what's your date of birth? And I was thinking, I'd never, <laughs> date of birth. Really? He went, what's your fucking birthday? So it was like someone knew me birthday and he was like, yeah, mate, that's your fucking date. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, fucking hell. But like, you know yeah, you've never... I've ne I'd, never, I'd never done it, you know what I mean? It's like things like that filling forms. I was a proper... I've, I've thrown myself out into the unknown, mate, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was terrifying, but I come through it. 
And like I said before, the, the best thing in the army is you can express yourself physically. So you get you say you, you do your, you do your office uh, you do your classroom work, mm-hmm. but you can fail every classroom bit. But as long as you as long as you put on the physical side, the fitness and and, and they'll, all they'll judge you on that. You know what I mean? So it's. Every every fitness every fitness test I passed that was because obviously the because you were you were used to like your fitness yeah, and yeah. all like the, the boxing played a massive part in in, in everything I done in the army like everything I done mate so I was just I was just nailing ev- every test that needed to be done I just nailed but obviously the written test no one co- no one comes to filling forms I was, yeah yeah just the, like it, it, it was terrifying that's been that's been a phobia for years because what am I like what am I like it's like <laughs> I'll say do you know what I mean <laughs> fill these out for us or do this for yeah, us like yeah. do you know what I mean it's, it's, it's still a little phobia I've got now but imagine that at 16 <laughs> yeah fucking hell mate it's, it's one <laughs> of them fill these forms out to everyone looking at you like fucking hell mate <laughs> but did you know from the off was there like did you it's a, like a friendship with people straight away and... straight away mate yeah it's a show going, going into the army like as I say with the, some of the lads who were met um we ended up together then. So as you as you went into, I think there was about thirty of us. You get put into like these lines. You get put into rooms. And it's, I I ended up staying with a few of the lads who, who were met on the train. And if you're there for like three months, so it's like you know you're mad and that. And remember, you're just going up as a fucking shitty ass kid. Don't and, then be, you, and then three months later, you come up to to see you pass out. And when they come up, mate, you're standing there, all your kits ironed. You're a fucking new you're, person. You're, just, you're, like, you're a man. Told, you're people, a, yeah, people you're, calling out like commands, and you're doing them, and you're marching and stuff like that. But with the lads who we went up with, we ended up we ended up getting an award as well. So we ended up winning best section. You know what I mean? So straight away, that was my thing. Then it's like I'm 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 going to do good at this. Yeah, do you know you, what I mean. You knew there was this this was something that you were good I at. Do, and, I was good at. So because yeah. because I, I I got onto it early that if 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 you're good physically, you're going to do well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And even if you you know just just like like a flick of a fucking coin and you, yeah, you yeah. like the, the what's name work and in the classroom, but your 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 side yeah. of it was the physical side of it. The physical you, side and you were good at that. You know so what I mean? It's just like you no know, like things like. Uh, Putting your bed together, ironing your uniform, folding your stuff right, all stuff like that was Bob on. So if you're good at that, they, they don't really. If you good at it when you were at home, would well, you? Would you? No, just, no. <laughs> I'm tell you more no it's like that's it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like fucking okay, hell, what's happening here? But the, the transition, mate, from, yeah. if, from first face from face normal to life to, 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 to army life, and then to see to see everyone's faces when they come up, like fuck. how did that make you feel seeing your family oh, there, mate? mate? Was you fucking ten butter? To, to even know that I was doing good at something. So like it's because I'd one best section and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So it was yeah. like when you when I was there, you're sticking your chest out a little bit more to say, you know, because you can't wait. I hadn't seen I hadn't seen no one for, for months. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So you couldn't wait to see them and then tell them everything that's happened, things that done ended up getting best section. So it was all proud stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like good stuff to tell. But it was a bit of first phase was boss mate. So from there, did you um you know, after you've seen your family and stuff like that, and you've passed out, do you go home then? Or so we only, I think, I think we only got like a couple of days off. So yeah. We get a couple. I think it was a week. We got a weekend off, and then from there, then I had to, uh, I had to go to Katzig then. Oh, so that's that's York, Yorkshire. Katzig uh, is in New Yorkshire, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Katzig. So we, uh, but then obviously going into going into going into there the second time, getting the trains up and that you were, you weren't asked because you were used to it then. Yeah, you were just old, you know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But second phase, like I, I didn't know what second phase was going to do, but. I excelled more than that as well because when I got up there, this was all about turning into a soldier. Then the first phase is just discipline, learning you how to get up on time, in morning, slowly. brushing your teeth, getting a wash, ironing your clothes. It's just it's all discipline stuff. But then going up to second phase, that was like um, that's all out in the field. You know what I mean? So that's learning you to be a soldier. Then how to put all your your cam kinem on, how to live in the field, how to like you know service your weapon, fire your weapons, and all stuff like that. And I want, but once I got to there, I, I just, I, that's when I just took off then. I loved it. Loved Start it, getting noticed and stuff yeah. like that. Like people hate it going out in the field. You and, fucking and I it. just fucking, you know what I mean? Jump in that fucking sewage, I'll be, I'll be in it, mate. No problem crawling and, and all that. I was like, what's the problem? This is what we're here for. It's this is what, this what yeah, you yeah. want to do. Boss, mate. But uh, in, in, in second phase as well, I ended up getting a little award in that as well. So I got best in field craft in that. That's like, a, that's a top, that's basically yeah. telling you. You, you, you know, you're a, you're a good soldier. You're a soldier. You're a, you're a good soldier. I'm assuming that's like obviously to do with your weapons and like you're being, so, out, being out in the field and so, all that. So you, you do so with the weapon with the weapons in the army. It's like you have to do you have to do like a fire and safety thing. So like to get you in classrooms. So you can I I might like fail filling forms out, but you do a physical test. They'll tell you like weapons fired and all right, and then weapon stops, and then you've got to go through the drills as if you're out live. 
So then I'm, I'm just nailing the drills. So it's, it's like, in here it's you all just... there. It's just the back of one of my physical Where other people could be struggling yeah, where yeah. you were fucking smashing yeah, so it. All, all, the, all the ones who were, who were, uh, who were boss in the classrooms, when we're out in the field, I'm carrying them then. Like, come on. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm sort of growing into a leader of like, come ahead, let's go and yeah. pulling them through. It's like, you, you might be but all that's like, what you do. You, you're, you're a team. You're a fucking... Yeah, yeah. And, and where you're dragging them through, they could be struggling where it works both ways. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Of course yeah. it does. Do you know what I mean? And did you feel like that? I'm being efforts, in charge, yeah. like sort of being a leader. Yeah, that's that, that was right up your yeah, street. Straight away, mate. It's just I just and and I, I knew I was going to like I knew I was going to do well in the army with that. Do you know what I mean? Everyone looked, even though I was younger to some people, everyone looked up to me. Do you know what I mean? Just physical wise, I, I could rally people. I could motivate. Yeah, people, do you know what, what I mean. Yeah, I could keep people going because even if I was down. I just I had that I had that capability of like that's your, it's your skills that you had yeah, there yeah, without so many people other people up, yeah. do you know what I mean but uh, yeah it was boss second phase as well but uh, me, me mum and I come up to that then but it was a bit different on that it was a bit they had to come around classrooms so I was sitting in the classroom like I was out in the field so where they come on the, on the first one yeah, like, yeah. and that second one was in classrooms so they coming in and I'm sitting there like that do you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> with the poncho and all that yeah. over me like I was, I was out in the field that was good as well because that's the, that's when they said me, me half fella loved that because he's seen and that's a proper soldier and then yeah, you know what I mean you're not you're, you're a soldier now you know how to survive in the field you know how to survive in the wild so second phase was boss as well but uh, after that then was battalion mate that, that was getting deployed to uh, but no so but, just, but, just going so battalion first was just like that's like like the, you, you get you so you join the kings but you have to go through two, like uh, two phases of training and you go to battalion. Right, okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Battalion, battalion. So when you're in training, you get told, like, when you get to battalion, because you've done your training, you're uh, it's a bit more, like, lenient in that then, because you've, like, you've put your time in and that. But when you get there, you still, you like, it's a bit like that, you know what I mean? You get people who have been in for a while, like, making you stand mm -hmm. to attention and, like, trying to fucking give you the old bully and that. Yeah. So when you get there, I was like, that fucking hell, I thought it was meant to be better here, like. <laughs> But I can always remember this lad when we first went there, mate. He was screaming at us, at us standing to attention and that. And uh, I was, I was like that to me, mate. I thought it wasn't like this. But obviously, when we got when we got over the lines and there and it settled down, uh, it, 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 battalion life was boss then, mate. Yeah, 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 boss lad, boss. But that lad who bullied me, like I got, I got him back two years later. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, did you get your own back all fucking well and well and truly got you, that one back? Yeah, I remember <laughs> you from fucking that day and whatever, but. But from there, going now, actually going out into you know being deployed places yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Like, where was your first? You know, my first deployment was out to Iraq, mate. And uh, so we went to uh, we went to Canada. So Canada was your first proper live firing. So it's like you go on the ranges, and like mm. where you're firing at targets. But before you get deployed, it's to like war. They take you to Canada, and like, that's live firing where you're you're all actually like there's fire coming over your heads, there's planes coming in, there's mortars going off. I'm sure you get you know, used to that, yeah. Like sort of like battle and stuff like that, so you're not like cringing you're when you're shitting yourself and shit when it comes on top and that. You know what I mean? So you get used to all that. That was good. I enjoyed Canada. Like Canada was boss. How long was you out there for? I think we were out in Canada for about eight weeks. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was rough. Like it's like when it, I mean cold. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it was like <laughs> your heart, the hardens you're up out there. <laughs> fucking it was, it was survival mode, mate. Survival and then from mode. there, from Canada, you went to Iraq. So that was that. So but you're, you're all, as as a as a brigade, then you all get marked off. Then you're you're ready to go as a unit out to Iraq. And that time in Iraq, and the fucking war was, was yeah, it, yeah. Was so, it? so we 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 was we was Obtelich to us. So basically, Obtelich one. That's like they they the lads who had just who had just been in the invasion. We had to, we was up to like two, we went in then to take over. Do you know what I mean? It was like. So to relieve them, sort of thing, was Yeah, it? yeah, so you relieve them, but it goes into like peace phase then. So it's all like hearts and minds and stuff and, and stuff like that then. But when you get out there, mate, it's. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> like, that, well, yeah, when I, we went to QA fair, you've got to go to QA to climatize. But like you're out there and so to get used to the weather and stuff. With all that gear on and all yeah, that. Yeah, as well. so that's you got it done with your body armor and stuff on. You've got you've got to get used to like walking around, like doing small patrols with them on, like not like getting your water in and stuff like that. But I can remember when we, uh, we, we, we after after we was in Q8, we uh, we ended up going to Bazaar then to get that was us going to our posts and mate, I can remember <laughs> I can remember looking now thinking, where the fucking hell am I? <laughs> <laughs> You're not a night no more. <laughs> yeah. I was like, but the same again. I just I just adapt to things quick, so I, I adapted out out there really fast, mate. Yeah, become like a valuable person out there. To be honest, did you did you did you see? Obviously, I know what goes on out there stays out there. Yeah. But did you see like when people like people's 
see the arse fall out of them because yes. of the difference. A couple, a couple, there's a few lads who would, you would, after a few weeks when you go out on patrols, does you know the lads and you, you just wouldn't take them out on patrol, would you? Because you, the, 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 the liabilities, mate, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you're out, when you're out on them patrols, mate, and you're out on them streets, you've got to be. Everyone's got to be on it. Razor sharp, yeah. So when we went out there, it's the same again with me. I was only young. I was only just turned eighteen, me. But I was, I was with a lad, one of one of my mates, and uh, we we took to it well straight away. So you you have a thing on the, on the back of the wagons called top cover. If you're top cover, mate, you've got you've got to be fucking. You've got to be switched, the snipers and stuff, mate, and then all that. Witched on, mate. You know what I mean? Me, 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 mates, we ended up getting them jobs out there, but we, we, we was that switched on. We couldn't even get like people was getting bits of leave or going on R and R. We couldn't. It was valuable. You know what I mean? They, they're not going to take the two, the two. Top and did you take that upon board? I, I was made up with that, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it took me about. It must have took me about three or four weeks, and then you realise, right? I'm here now. You know what I mean? You're not, you're, you're not going home. You're here. So you just, you just, you just adapt to it, mate, and be ready for it. You know what I mean? And I'm, I look, see, watching it on the telly, and when you see like shit on the telly and stuff, you think to yourself, you know, you just being front line out there, yeah. and I, I, you know, it, it's fucking scary just seeing it on yeah. the telly. But obviously, to be there and to experience, good, yeah, it was good. <laughs> I mean, but, but, you know, you know, I, I mean, it, I, you just, I just remember watching, like, seeing it on the telly and stuff, and you know, and you know, the civilians and stuff. But then, yeah. You know, there's civilians who are acting like civilians, yeah, and they're not. You know honesty, what I mean? And yeah. it, it comes on you top. Don't, and you don't know hate until you until you're out on them places like the locals. Some of the, some of them are just genuine people, but some 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 of them are like you. You know, someone someone looks at you with hate, mate. You fucking know, mate. They they wouldn't care if if the worst possible thing. They've they've got no heart, then, mate. You just, just don't give a shit. Out. You can just tell me off a look in someone's eye. If they're like horrible, mate. But. As I say, I, I enjoy once I adapted, I enjoyed it, mate. Yeah. Yeah. That's one that's one of the things I loved it touring, do you know what I mean? You love touring. Yeah, so I got to I got to do I got to do Canada and um Iraq and, and I loved the both of them. But do you know what? I know you've been awarded the uh, the commander's commendation for saving someone's life. Yeah. You know, by shooting someone. As a soldier, I feel all you know, also, you know, also buff to get the award, but as a soldier and as a person. That's a bit of a mad it's, question. That's what I mean. It's like some some people, some people, it does affect people in different ways. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But when I got put in that situation, yeah, I was gonna say, what was the scenario? What yeah. Was so the scenario was we, we had a bit of a situation where someone come over, scream and like shout. We couldn't understand what they were saying, but they were just pointing to an area. So we, we've gone over to this area, and when we've when we've gone round there, there's two there's two fellas going absolutely like fucking berserk. They had knives. But they were like swiping them at kids and stuff, you know, like going mad in this. But these area. locals, was these they? were locals. It was over over the road. It was from it, uh, from from this little uh, base we were on. We've just went over and like uh, just to see what the situation was. But as soon as they've seen us, it's just like they we've got guns. They've got knives and made the way the way that he acted was just like they just didn't care, mate. But they've gone from trying to attack people, to then turning around to attack to attack us. You know what I mean? So my my section commander, like he he's 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 put a, he's put his, his gun up and said like you know he drop said drop, drop it and stuff. Obviously they they don't know what we're saying then, but they've come they've come running at him. So he's he's open fire on one of them. Mm-hmm. That it that it the fella in the arm. He just went down. But then obviously the other fella then seen what had happened and that's that's boiled him more. But we used to suffer with stoppages you now on the on the rifles. Sometimes you'd fire what one and they're gonna they're gonna jam. It'd lock, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he he's went like that. So to reload or whatever. You know, he's as he's coming, so the fellas coming at him, he's looked at him, told him to stop, and then he's went to fire and got a stoppage. Now I was I was I was here at the side of him. So he's charging him and all oh I can just remember him going like that, looking at me like I'm I'm, I'm in danger here. Yeah. So I, I just opened fire like just 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 took him out straight away. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? And he was gonna obviously with the knife, yeah, he was gonna it's like, he... I had no I had no even at a, at a young age, I had no shadow. I, I had to react. You know Otherwise, I mean? you, you know, it, it, he, he could have. You know what I mean? That, that play could have went anywhere in the mate. He mm. was, he was, he was reacting big time. Do you know what I mean? So, if I wouldn't have reacted, it could have been a completely different scenario. You know, you know, you, you, you're the guy you out yeah. of there. They're a lot more because we've got the kit on. They're a lot more agile than us, so you can't. You haven't got manoeuvre to move. Like not to say if someone comes in and grabs you, you've got a big but your kit's all that blade's going anywhere. Yeah, you mean, to anywhere, is, yeah. anywhere. Like so, as I say, I just had to, to react, mate, and just there. Uh, and you then know, obviously, you know, you've saved you know, you what's his life. Yeah, you know? yeah. From there, you're thinking, fucking. I know it's that feeling, like you've you know you, you yeah, as whatever as you've as trained for. Yeah, yeah. It was there, but as I say, it's 
for me, I it didn't didn't it, it, see, seeing the situation, seeing the situation like once once it happened, the threat was gone. It's that's when you yeah that's when you see something like yeah because it's it's like I was so the excited, adrenaline but and all that. No, but it's even like when you when when people are shot, it's not it's not like the movies, mate. You know what I mean? It's like it's it's real what you're looking at on the floor. Do you know what I mean? Someone's down like and it's it's like it, it's life threatening, mate. And when you see a body. Like suffering for like air and stuff like that. It's a bit. It's yeah. It's so much. But for you, you, though, I was gonna say yeah. for yourself, you know, your peace of mind, like your mind. How, how did that make you feel and stuff? Yeah. Like so that? For, for me, it's like without sounding heartless. That I, in my head, I was like, well, this is what I'm here for. And then everyone after that, everyone was like, hey, well, you're all right. You're all right. And I'm I'm looking at them all like, <laughs> yeah, because you could deal with yeah, that. I mean, that's what you're, like, you're yeah, saying. Yeah, I thought that's that. That's like that's what we were. That's here what I signed up for. That's what we signed up for. Do you know what I mean? But uh, I got I got questioned by the military police over that. So basically, when you shoot someone, it doesn't just. It's not like what's done. Oh yeah, it's done. So you have yeah. to once the threat's gone, you have to you still have to, you still have to try and save them. Once that threat's gone, it's down to you then to try and save them. So it's, and then obviously you've got you've got to like then you've got to go through a thing of like was it lawful to discharge your weapon? Yeah. So, but yeah. I was getting questioned over three days, and in the end, I was thinking like, what the fuck? I know, yeah. Fucking like, have I have I done something wrong here? Do you know what I mean? I thought he was going to stick a knife in there, yeah, you know, yeah, another yeah. soldier, and you. So it got put together, and then that's when that's when uh, I didn't know that, that my name was put forward for the commendation. Do you mm. know what I mean? So it's like uh, it wasn't until we finished the tour, and when I come back, there was a big massive parade. There was there was hundreds on the parade. Well, did you know about it on the no, day? No, I didn't know. I didn't, yeah. I didn't have a clue. Do you know what I'm just standing there like that, thinking like this is like this is the. And then next minute, my name got called out to like, and I was like, oh, 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 like that marching you know, out, <laughs> yeah. smiling like that. Yeah. I was like, but he, back then it didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Didn't even know what it was. If you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like it was not to me. It's not until, until I've got older now. It's like I've, like I've, I've kept all these. These are all I've got all these. Yeah, perfect. yeah. And uh, I look at them now and read up on them, and I think it's. That's like, that's a big award in yeah, life. Do you know what yeah, I mean? It's, yeah. it's it's a big life achievement to say I've been to war and I've been valuable as well. If yeah. you know what I mean what I've done, I've saved life. I've done what needed to be done. So that, that award for me now it's treasured, mate. Yeah, of course I mean? it is it's treasured. Oh, obviously within the within the army, you know, you back was you back home? Was you you know? Like, yeah, coming back, coming but after, after being somewhere like that, mate, because it's like. You've got that as it once you've felt that adrenaline rush means there's no it, other fucking there's no other feeling like it. Yeah, so yeah. when you come back, it doesn't it's not the post-traumatic stress that changes the drinking, but you get you like you want to go out of a weekend because you want to try and f- keep wanna, that keep that buzz want, or the yeah, adrenaline. Yeah, you want to try and find that buzz, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like you with the lads out of the army as well, you should go out and you you'd course f- for me and me, you know what I mean? You should, you should, you should fill each other in. If, you should, if there was no one there to fight <laughs> yeah. me, you should fill each other in. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? That's, that's what they are. So from being from like in Iraq and, you know... And then coming, coming back. So they, it was, with the army life as well, when you come, obviously, when, when I first joined up, as I was saying before, it's like, camp life and that's good. But then when you've been on tour, when you come back, it's a bit bullshit then, because it's like... You're looking for the same Yeah, once of... you, it's like they're making you do things that are like... A bit, it's a bit it's a bit like bullshit it's just more like a controlling thing yeah. when you've been to war you're like we know now do you know what I mean It's we, we know what we're doing now it's yeah. sort of thing it's like these bullshit things. as long as you keep in my eyes as long as you keep yourself fit you're active you're yeah. staying on the ball you're good to go so that's what I was going to say to you when did it like would you say it started going wrong for you in the so army it, 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 with the, uh, the commendation after the commendation uh, the, uh, when I come back that was like uh, 18, 19, everything was going boss, mate. Uh, like me, my life was flying. I got that commendation, got my driving license, I got a, I got a, I got a mortgage on my first. All month. in the army was this. All way. in the army, mate. Yeah, and uh, I got and I and I done it. Uh, so this, this is the proof. This was the proof in the pudding that I was, I was flying in the army. So this uh, course come out. So it's a course. It's a uh, to get you to get your lance corporal. You know what I mean? But I'd only been in the army what seventeen, eight, so two years. So someone put my name forward to do it, and they were like, "Nah, do you, like you need to be in for at least." But this, this, this fella, he proper believed in me. He was like, "Look, he let him go and places course. this. Let him do the course." So in the end, he come back with the decision and said, "We we'll let you do the course, so you don't have to do it again later on. So you might, you might get your lance corporal in five years, but you'll just automatically get made up to lance corporal. You don't have to You've do the course." Yeah, yeah. So I was like, "Go ahead, sound." So when on the course, the course, the course, that's that like that's like this is when you do this course, that's your first step on being a leader of men. That's like once you Lance Corporal, yeah. Lance Corporal, once that's like you you start leading men then. 
They start so, looking up to you. You're, up, you're the one who's got to get them up in the morning. Like you're their leader. You get them up. You make sure everything's squared away. Everything's on point. You're the leader. But that's that's a good thing because it's like you're making lads. You're their leader. Once they start they're looking up to you, you they're looking up to you. Yeah, they want to yeah. follow you. So on the course, um, as I was going through the course, this the, the, the fellow who got me on the course when we were out in the field, they do this. They do like these section attacks. When we were on the section attacks, they put you on the spot. Take over. So then you, when they say, like, what do you take over? You've got to then, like, start giving orders out. To everyone to, to start following your commands following and stuff, yeah. Commands. So I realised that the, this fellow kept saying it. So every, every one we done, he was like, what do you take over? What yeah. do you take over? So I was like, fuck, in my head, I was thinking, fucking cunts put me in here. Do you know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah. Fuck, like, but he uh, kept doing it, kept doing it. So it was about three weeks before the, uh, the end of the course. And he turned around to me and went to... Is, is your mum and all that coming up to watch your parade? And I was like, why, why, why am I going to get them to come up? You know what I mean? It's because it's, I'm not getting me. And he was like, get, you, get your parents to come up. And I was thinking, well, I've already been told I'm not going to be made up. So it's like, there's no point of travelling all the way up here for the parade. If, if it's because what happens on the parade is the top 10 get made up on the day. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? On the day, the top 10 people. So he kept saying, and I couldn't, couldn't figure out why. So then I, I called them up anyway, they all come up and I, on the day I got like come in the top 10, 19 years of age and I got called out and I got given me stripe on, on, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. day, not to put on me thing. Yeah, and I was like yeah. 19 years of age. And I was like, but, but obviously being on, a soldier, but then being me. Be, be, being Lance, that, that's when I knew then that like this is the, like this, this, this is, is different this, me. I'm, I'm flying in here, I'm flying. You've been two years in, lad. Yeah, two you? years in, I'm Lance Corporal, I've got commendations, I've, I've, you know, you know, I've, I've fired my weapon, I've, I've done everything, a soldier. Is asked to yeah, do, yeah. do you know what I mean? So I was I I was ready to just uh, take off. But the, the only problem was is when you get made up to Lance Corporal, you change platoons. They want you You're to, not with the same lads. They or... want you to send you to other lads who you don't know, do you know what I mean? But in the battalion I was liked by everyone anyway, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But when I changed platoons, I wasn't on, I wasn't on par with the hierarchy. You know what I mean? Right, okay. So all the hierarchy who who, who were joined with. They all love me, so I was flying with them. But then when it changed, this 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 one sergeant major, I thought I don't know what it was. He just didn't. He just, he just didn't, didn't, take he just didn't like me. Lad, yeah, you know I mean, I couldn't understand why because I was thinking I'm doing all these good things. I'm like I'm getting made up to Lance Corporal. What's the problem? But he, he kept like, he was saying like stay away from the lads. You need to separate yourself. But in my head, I'm thinking we're soldiers. You want to imagine? Get, you imagine me? You want to build the lads trust yeah, up and so all imagine that? Imagine me going on another tour. Don't want. Don't want to be on a tour with lads fucking. And you me. don't got, know, yeah. Yeah, do you know what I mean? We've I'm got gonna to, fucking save. Yeah, yeah. yeah you've yeah. got to. You've got to live to. They've, yeah. they've got to trust you to to like carry their lives. Whether whether you're and like, it goes vice versa as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Do you know what I mean? So I I always tried to build relationships with the lads who, who I was in charge of because they were all, they were all boss lads. But that's when I started sparring a little bit. Like, well, that's what I was gonna say. Do you know what it felt like? Yeah. Do you know what it felt like back in school? Because then it was like then, like, you know what I mean? I'm doing all these good things. What, what, what the fuck am I getting? Trying to knock me down. Yeah, yeah, trying to, you know what I mean? Like, take the good out of it. Yeah, yeah. So, like, familiar feelings started coming back then. Because it was like, it started feeling like a, like a chore. I'd, I'd got so far and done so well. Now it's feeling like a chore again. Do you know what I yeah. mean? To be here. And, and is that from there on? Is that when it started spiraling? Was it? Yeah, yeah. Well, you got to think it's like, once you've been to war, once once you once you've been broke down and built back up, you just you just act out, means You just you don't give you don't give a fuck. So if someone's poking you. You're not gonna. You're not gonna be. You just. You're just gonna be like. What's you're gonna fucking this? explode. Yeah, you're going because because you, you're, you're not asked anymore. Like, yeah. What's the what's the worst that can happen? Do you know what I mean? Was you going out like saying? Was you was you still on camp or based on camp and was you going out and or yeah. was you coming home? Yeah. So home we, leave some, and stuff. some weekends we'd come home uh, and and then like you'd come back and then some weekends we'd stay there. But the thing is, the the thing is with the army, it's it's everything's evolved around drinking. You end you end up. You that know, culture it's just that culture mate you end up loving a drink in the army like you know what I mean loving I know you've been bots naming all week or you've been you you know, know. Soon, soon as you soon as you get fell out on a Friday it's like who's it so <laughs> you think pub because that's like you know what I mean pub let's go to the pub so you grow into like just getting fucking smashed every weekend you know what I mean that's your, that's your downtime you're back, you're back in yes. you know, when you're a kid though as well that's what you think that's what you think you, you, you grow up you grow up yeah. don't you think what's your downtime go to booze and get fucking swatted on a weekend <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's, yeah. <laughs> that's what you do. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to buy a new rig out, so I'd put it on and go out. So yeah, do, yeah. Big bollocks, like, but yeah. So the, the 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 drinking, that's when. So as I say, with with the thing there, then once I started feeling them old feelings coming back, because it because it built myself into this character. I was just the the only way I could I could, I could express myself then was acting out. I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't sit and cower away and like moan to myself. Yeah, yeah. I'd be feeling that inside. 
But I ducked out. You know what I mean? So it's, I was started like I was fighting loads in the army then. You yeah, know what I mean? just fighting. like when you're out, wow, drink. even 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 on the barracks, mate. It's like with, like, with it's, other lads, with, and with stuff. other lads in there on the barracks. Yeah, it's just I I was I was I, I ended up getting getting up becoming known as the crank mate. You know what I mean? I was yeah. only a kid, but it was just because I just. When I felt like bullied a bit, I didn't give a fuck. You it's just like, fucking I put just, it on them. Just, I just, I just, honestly didn't care, do you know what I mean? Do you think that maybe from being out at war and stuff, you know, it's you felt that adrenaline and you felt that, you know, yeah, being, it it's a different adapting to like normal life. But you, yeah. you felt that fucking adrenaline well, and all it. that. Some people, it's like some of the lads who I know have had post-traumatic stress, they suffer with it in silence. Yeah. I acted out. You, you expressed yours? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I, if I, for some reason with me, if I felt weak, I'd act out to make myself that's how you'd fucking like, express it you know that's what I mean? how I'd express it you know, rather than sitting there I'd just, I'd just act out mate and just I'd cause fucking chaos <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean yeah yeah you know, so that, that, that's like that's just the way it was and then when you start to get in the, you know by the fucking higher yeah, they yeah, start just had enough on your shit and that for me then lad you know what I mean they had enough did these, was there anything you know from there from from the army did they say like look you're on your last easy this is your last chance no, so it, doesn't, it doesn't work like that it's it, it they, you, you could be an arsehole you're like they, they won't they won't like sort of get rid of you you can be an arsehole your whole career it's just like if you're not liked you're not going to rise it's as simple as that you'll just you're, stay you're just, you're, they, they've got the, they've got the authority to say he's never doing that course or he's never doing this or he and when you when you if you're looking at if you're looking at your hierarchy thinking these don't like me you're not like what are you in for then then if you're not going to be able to climb the, the ladder what what, what the, you wanted to achieve what the fuck yeah, are you standing in, in your yeah, way Andy. what are you in for like what am I coming up and putting myself through this every week for you know what I mean? Because I know for a fact with that fucking bell end, I'm not going to be able to do nothing. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So fucking from there, it was like yeah. So from there, me, I started, I started drinking heavy, heavily, and that then just going out more and more and more, and uh, that's what that's when like that's when it fucking hit home. Then yeah, I ended up getting nicked on a on a drug stash, mate. You know what yeah, I mean? some fucking stupid fucking weekend I went out on. And like you say, it's that that thing again, isn't it? You know, it's that that decision you're making then. Yeah. Can you remember the fucking, you know, the test? Can you remember? Yeah, I can just see, I can remember getting called in, mate. I didn't have a clue what it was for, but when, when I got in, they actually said, like, and then after that, mate, that was... Was it just a random drug test? Just a random drug test, mate, you know what I mean? Like, I couldn't even tell you the night I went out or, or what it took. All I know is I've been, out, I've been out on a fucking bender. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And then I've, I've called, I've obviously, I've been, I've had a piss test and that, I've just done it. And then I've been called in and I was like, I just... Did like, your world fall apart? Yeah. Mate, honest to God, like, fucking... It's like looking back and you just you're thinking fucking hell. It's like twelve months ago, I was I was flying. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I then you just like, but like, what the fuck's happened here? And then after after that, mate, it just that's when it just went fucking. Did they um, did they dismiss you from from the drugs test or did they just like? Yeah, so it's just it's basically if you get if you get nicked on a drug a drug test, you get you get nicked, mate. It is what it is. So that's when that's when it's out. It's out. It's like it's out then. Yeah, you know what I mean. But they they make you stay in for like twelve months. So you're you're still there for twelve months, knowing that you've got no you've got no future in that place. There's no there's no nothing. So you've not got the like, end of it. you've got to understand that. Was I was I gonna was I gonna was I gonna be a good soldier then? I would was you, like was you, fuck off me. You were just you know what I mean? just yeah, fucking yeah. getting up when I wanted to do and just just saying to them fuck. And I, I nearly did, did the fella the fella who we all started with and they and they fucking filled him in mate. Yeah, I was close to like he was a sharp major and mate I had to get pulled away from him because I was just gonna fucking you were gonna fill I was gonna him fill him in mate. Did you obviously from there? And you're still in the army, you know, your missus, you know, your your family. Was it all a fucking secret? Was it just all? I, yeah, yeah, so there's, there's only, like, my mum and dad didn't know, like, I've literally, I've held that, I've held that on, on my shoulders, mate, for the, for the past 18 years or something. You never told them? I never told I've only just, because I'm coming on this podcast yeah, to, like, yeah. get, it, get, get it out there of, like... Like I've, I, I didn't tell them, mate. I've only just told them now, because I was, I was, like, I was ashamed, mate. I've gone from doing... My parents like f- super fucking proud. Yeah, and I've got to tell them I am just that piece of fucking shit off the estate. You know what I mean? You know what though? The, like you know, I know you're gonna think like that, but from a lad off a council estate to achieve what you've achieved, I think you're being a bit harsh on yourself because you okay, you've made a mistake. That's fair enough, and I think you're being a bit harsh on yourself because we all make mistakes, mate. Yeah. I make fucking plenty of mistakes, and but to to go from a council estate to go to war to, to get this award and you know look at 
these things happen like you say there's a drinking yeah. culture and it okay back, back then you just it, mate, when you're a kid as you know you yeah. just don't look at it mate you, you, don't, just, you just you just getting fucking raged with hate aren't yeah you just it's like, it, like it's I've only I've only just now like I only just now get me awards out and appreciate what I've got now yeah do you know what I mean where maybe I should have maybe I should have done that and sort of like but right, that's it. Now that's one chapter closed. Let's use me. Let's use me skills to get into the next chapter. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't. So I just, I just went on a, f- a fucking because I was holding that in. Yeah. And I knew I let me mum and dad down. I just went on a on a. Fucking... From there, that's what I'm saying. See, so all this anger that like, the, like you're saying, you've kept it inside, and you're angry because you fucking twelve months before you were dead, and then you're there. Yeah. Was you just out of control? Out of mate, it mate. At a t- at twenty years of age, I went from having everything to losing a lot. I lost my mortgage. I lost my license, I lost my home, and I was in like 58 grand's worth of debt at two years. Now, you've got to think, all all that, all 20 that, years of age. All that thing we've just spoke about happened in a three-year period, mate. And went from being on, coming from a council estate to being on top of the world, flying, to then 20 years, I had a 20-year-old, I had fucking nothing, mate. No job, no house, no license, no nothing. Absolute rock bottom. Fucking, and, and from there, Steve, was it... What come from that? It's just, 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 just that. It means it must have, must have been. Just gotta have been ten years, mate. Of no, just, just like fucking madness, hate, going job to job, like just, I just, I just hate. It. I couldn't hold a job down, mate, because it was like I just hated people in the jobs. It's like in me, I just sort of knew I'm better than you because, like, I had this thing where you know I've been in the army, I've done this, I've done this, but realistically, it was a fucking mistake I made. Yeah, why that's come to an end. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's. I wasn't looking at it like that though. I feel like I like. I always wanted to get it out, like you know, I've been in the army, means I've done this, you know. Yeah. But I shouldn't, I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have been like that. I You're shouldn't. young as well, though, yeah. and, 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 and like, when we get older, you know, the age we're at now, it's you mature and you know, you you, you have a family, you have kids, and then it's yeah. it's like you, you give advice and stuff. But when I was, you know, you go yeah, to people, you, 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 you just don't listen. The thing, you, the you, you know, is, the best, I always say you? as well with me is because because I keep going back to being dyslexic, so. I was terrified to like go into that civic because I'd already made it in the army to go into Civvy Street and then have to do the job interviews and fill the forms out. That all that old anxiety, I'd all come back then because I was like, ten times worse yeah. going for an interview. I, I had a job. I've just had a job there where I can express you know, myself. Talent, like going yeah. to an interview. Yeah, I'm dead fit. I run up mountains and they don't give a fuck, dude. They make they just <laughs> want to know. Well, can you do this? Can you fill that form? If you can't fill a form out, you're not getting a fucking job, are you? Mate? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's that's what it was like. So from there on, from twenty to. No doubt, a little bit of a was it just twenty drinking and was the, was yeah, just everything. Was, yeah, just chaos, mate. I just all I getting look, into trouble. All I look forward to, mate, was getting ready on a Friday, going abusing and just cause some fucking misery, mate, to people. You know what I mean? Just absolute misery, like full of anger, just, just anger, mate. Every like now I look back, people used to say for you like he's a fucking he's a crank to something up with them, but to me it's just like I didn't get a fuck, mate. I was like being really asked people. With that inside, Steve, obviously, you, you, you know, speaking about it now, people didn't know why wow, you were angry. Well, and, it. and, and, and it's built up and, you know, speaking about it now, there's probably lads out there or even women out there who, who were in the army who possibly be going through the same thing. Yeah. By watching this podcast and you speaking about it, someone might get something from this because what I mean. it's, it's, it's just, it's mad because... I carried I carry that around yeah. with me for like nine years. Hate, like, hiding something from my mum and dad. Just constantly fucking hate. But it was like, in that period of time, I had loads of things smiling me in the face. Like, I was back boxing. Yeah. But I was I was doing boxing, so I was fucking harder in the boozer. I was doing bodybuilding, so I looked harder. But it's, I should have been looking at these as like, I've got an opportunity, I've known the, the boxing. Doing the different ways. Yeah, like I should, I should have been getting into it to actually fight and looking at a career or doing the boxing. Because my whole, my whole mindset was just rage towards it. Anger, the, just the, anger. Anger me towards it. Like, it, it, I had no, I had no respect for myself, no respect for my family. That like, I just, I hated everyone, mate. I hated to see people doing well because I was carrying my anger around with me, my hate mm-hmm. around with me. But if that's where, that's where, like, that's where I was, that's where I was probably deeply depressed because I was mm. holding on to things for so long. And then all the only thing that becomes your best friends, drink, mate. You know what Is I mean? Is that how you felt? Yeah, it's just drink. Because I go out on a weekend and I'm acting the big fucking hard case, but then I am, I'm, I'm, it's for four days later, mate, I'm, in, I'm I'm, on my own, Yeah, like lying there, like fucking looking like at the, the scene. Feel like, sorry, like, feel yeah. fucking, I can't get out of bed, yeah, but it's like, like expecting, eating cause shite, because I've been in the army, I always expected that, like the world owed me a favour, yeah, but it's yeah. not, it was down to me, I, sh- I should have been, I should have been doing something to better myself, but I went, my, my routine was, go out and get smashed on a Friday and a Saturday, lie in bed till Tuesday, get up, and then start getting ready for Friday again, 
that was my life. That, that cycle. That just cycled me for years and years and years. Just, just. But it's, it's even in them. It's like, like when I say I was violent. I mean, I've got, I've got. There was a situation I, I come up with. Do you know what I mean? I don't get a nick for a section eighteen mate. I was looking, I was looking at ten years. In well, jail. that's what I was going to say to you. But you know, jail. Did you never go to jail? With obviously the anger and the. Or was you very close and obviously close mates, re- really close to So I, I got done for a section eighteen, and uh, it, 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 it involved like biting someone's ear off. Do you know what I mean? The only reason I didn't end up going to jail is because the situation wasn't really one to blame. We were all to blame in the situation. You know what I mean? So I ended up getting offered that in it on like a self defence, but it was it was it was close mate. But it was like at that time. I, I didn't give a fuck, mate. Like I did, I didn't care. I, did, I just honestly didn't care. Scary thing, looking at ten years, days, yeah, isn't it? you know. Ten, 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 and I, mate, you know what? I was living in limbo as well. So he, I was living in limbo for like a year. So I couldn't even go away on family holidays or nothing because I was thinking I'm looking at ten years in jail here. So it, it, there was a family holiday come up, and I was like, I can't go because I can't go out there and smile. I'm at ten years in jail, if I go, I don't know what I mean. And I just need to sit here and just bury me head and think. You know, is that how you were dealing? Is that how you were thinking? Yeah, that's how I was thinking. Do you know what I mean? I was getting, was basically preparing myself for jail. I didn't want to do nothing happy. Yeah, do you know what I mean. I was like, I just, I need to, I need, I need to just be this person who I am. Fucking bouncing now, thinking I'm the big I am. Do you know what I mean? But then that, you know, that that that, you know, being that that fucking thought and feeling of, you know, you're looking at ten years in jail yeah. here for. You know, when it, it, it's must be, you must have been scared. You know what I mean? Because you know, you, all your freedoms being taken away. Yeah. And, but it's like when I got off with it, you'd think you learnt your lesson. You don't mean. Did you? you did you not? You just think. Was you you back at it? You fucking. You like that then? But fucking hell, got off with that one. You know what I mean? And it's, I ended up on. I ended up Community on, service and all that. Or yeah, no, because I got a not guilty. So I got. I got. I got. I got right. a not guilty. I got no. I got no charge. The court. The court case went on for a year. The case. The, the actual case. I was. I was. I was that round the bend right back then. Right. The court case went on Monday to Friday, right? And on the Friday, I got a gentle the Monday, yeah. So I went, I'm going to go and have a bevy me on Saturday. So I went to the pub, right? And on the weekend before, I ended up fucking banging two fellas out in the Weatherspoons by ours while I was still on that court case. And then <laughs> on the Sunday, when I'm on me come down, I'm like, fucking, I'm going to get nicked now tomorrow. I haven't even finished this court case. Just, and I'm going to get nicked again. Do you know what I mean? Was it just fucking just, just wild? You wasn't things. thinking. Just, I just it had no four process. But it's like with the you no know, no of your live a life of violence. It just becomes second nature and the second nature to you. Yeah. You just you like you don't give a second thought. You just act. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So once you do get into like you get into that rhythm, you sh- you you're doing things without even thinking. Then so you you're not you're not even thinking about it, not and you're just acting. And you, you can end up, mate, in, in, a, in a lot of fucking trouble. With yeah, of course you can. You know, you, know you're know looking, you could be looking at life behind fucking bars and stuff like yeah. that. And also, someone bangs their head or so you, you kill someone, mate. You yeah. know, you, you're not seeing the, like, the fucking the light for yeah. a long time. And what I mean. What, what, where did it, where did you thought, listen, this has got to change. Where where did it change for you? When did you think to yourself? So I hit, I hit, I hit so... Ended up, ended up getting like a job on the doors and that's was working the doors so it was like at the time I didn't I didn't like the doors the only, the only thing I liked about the doors is you got to have a bevy and that when you were working you had a little slide drink and you got yeah. paid for being out but uh, I, ended up, I ended up living in a flat on my own and I, so, and I hit fucking I went from when I first got in there everyone was coming around having a bevy with me and it was all fucking boss but just over a three year period I spiralled that far out of control and I was just on my own in the flat just fucking getting absolutely wasted mm. So then it's uh, one day it's Ailey come around like and she just come into the flat. I was a fucking mess, mate, like an absolute mess. And she she said, like, right, come here, let's go. Like she she put up with me for years, mate. I don't I, I, I don't know how she stayed with me, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But you could always see that see the brighter side, but she took me. But we I don't we hadn't been together for like three years, but she still when I hit the rock bottom, I had no she one around. She picked me up, took me home. I can remember like going to hers, getting a bath and that. So to like that's I'm gonna have to show me. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? And that, start was the, getting, that was the time. To that was the time to get to start getting me fucking heads together and start getting on the street and that. And from there, was it like what was you know what was your routine? Was it just fucking you know? Yeah, it's just it was just it was getting like getting trying to stay off the aisle as long as I could and so to getting back into like boxing and stuff like that. Start start doing things like like physical stuff again. Do you know what I mean? Like it like get get because I always knew the physical stuff worked. Like I say, I had yeah. always expressed myself physically. We got back into the boxing and stuff, and I, 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 I took it, I took it back up. Then I was, I was, I was a bit overweight. Then I think yeah. I was like seventeen stone. I ended up here. One, one of my mates, he ended up turning pro. So I ended up just like it went from just no going over the gym with him while mm-hmm. he was doing his sessions. 
So was it Stocky Gym? Was it Stockbridge Village? Yeah, yeah. My boss mate, yeah, the coaches and that over there. They they got him. They was got me rad on points. But uh, I was uh, the lad who was with. I first went to like because because like was like to, to get better, but I ended up like getting proper stuck in with them, and I lost all my weight to come down to thirteen and a half stone. Did you did you wait like sort of where you were at? You were like you, you know, but before Haley come and sort of yeah, yeah. got your shit together. Was you eating shite? You were just drinking. Oh, mate, you were just, you were so just... this is the, my my routine. Right, I used to work on on the doors. Right, like five nights a week. Right, and this was my routine. I used to get up, go to work. Right, and then I'd I'd, I'd work, and then I'd get fucking smashed till about ten in the morning. Yeah fall asleep till, till like the afternoon time say five o'clock and I get up put my wear clothes on walk around to my mars take them off put them in the wash dry them put them back on go to work and then the same cycle that was your routine that was my, that was my routine when I was working the doors Just, uh, that was like three years that was for three years just a mess mate and an absolute mess and it's, it's funny because I, like I always I always wanted to be that like bit of an hard case and that and mm. back, back, back when I was on the doors and that I had my chest out like fucking thinking I was able to know at that time mate I probably I probably fucking anyone anyone could have fucking filled me and it was all it was all like an act because deep down inside mate I was a fucking mess you know what I mean you were hurting as yeah, well you were hurting, just, mate it was just yeah because you've kept this fucking what's name from the army from yeah everyone. that was that, that, that was that, them, eight, them eight or nine years mate was absolute you were living fucking, with this fucking that was just this rock, secret because yeah, yeah. you hadn't told you rock, Rock bottom off after losing everything, but it's like that's the point I want to get of like no no don't carry things around me because the longer you carry them around for the fucking deeper and deeper and deeper you get in that hole and you home and you even forget like what like like what you what you're hiding you just you just you just into that routine of being a fucking you think it's boss but it's not it's like it's not until you come out of it you look back and think yeah and hell mate I was I was I was down and out there like and mm. out and out. And your night and shine and armor, hey. Yeah, yeah, she, she, come and, she come and got me, mate. But took me from on. there, though, do you know, obviously, you know, it, it, we have we had a few people on the podcast who said, like, you have to cut ties and stuff with people and yeah. stuff because to better you as a person. Yeah. Because well, that's, when you're sticking, when you're in that routine and, and, and stay, it, it, it is hard. You yeah. know, you've got to you, you do it for you and your family and stuff. She'll always say the reason I went to doors is because I was looking for that army closeness. So when I first... Togetherness and stuff. Togetherness with the lads. But she she had always said they're not your they're not your fucking mates like and then at the beginning it felt boss no because you're standing on the yeah, door yeah. with a little team of boys and like there was one pair one but there was one lad who was still speak to now he, he, he's he's still me mate he's he's still me mate off the doors he's he's probably mm. the only pair but he went through the exact same stuff and I'm going through do you know what I mean we, he was like he hadn't been in the army and stuff but he was living my lifestyle we were just yeah we yeah just he had other, other issues other issues but we were just messes the pair of us were messes me but he's he's got himself on track now and I've, I've like it, I still speak to him now do you know what I mean mm-hmm. but me and him were the same we fought all the lads were our mates all together but they're all our mates but, but it's, some of them some of them yeah of course mate and you, and, you, and you get this in life unfortunately but you're saying you were in Stocky Gym and I think I spoke to you about this and obviously you said you know as we all do, as we get yeah. a bit old, you put a bit of weight on and yeah. stuff. And one of the lads, Peter Little, said to me, I mentioned that he, he was speaking and he said, like, he remember seeing you on the air, on the skip and open the gym. Yeah. He said, you been, you know, a bit of a big lad in that. He said, it's only could skip. And he said, fuck me, mate. He could punch your bag. <laughs> and I'm not just saying, and he was saying to me, he said, Tony, I just remember him absolutely giving the bag a good white. Yeah. And it was a heavy bag as well. And he said, it was a, uh, it was what's the name? Um, it mentioned yourself and he went what a lovely fella and you know from there from you know going to the gym and stuff like that from, it was Stocky Gym wasn't yeah, it yeah yeah Stocky mate that, 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 that turned me around it's like that, that, that turned me around it's a, that started getting me on the stuff I literally found my balance again mm. I lived in the gym I was up, I did because I, did, I didn't even have a license again then I yeah did, so, but, I, but I was that determined I was walking from 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 here from the base. So what was your routine from what the morning? So my routine then we just uh, me me and the lad who trained pro. I'd just get up in the morning to I'd go down to Page Moss. No, I don't know where the garage in that is on, yeah. on, on the Liverpool Road. So meet him there. We'd walk over to Stocky, and then it's just you just get in there then and then train. But then the other gym, uh, the Georgies, we, we used to use that to do our weights. We go to Stocky in the, in the, in the morning, then we go to Georgies and do weights and that of a night. That was our routine then, but I find I still still like I was still drinking and that, but like it was it was more like moderate. I don't you, it's control, not wasn't controlling me, yeah. do you know what I mean? I was sort of still sometimes obviously fucking every now and again you just you've you've fallen off, aren't you? Thinking, fucking hell, what have I done there? But it, it was just nowhere near 
what you were the, the way it was do you know what I mean yeah. it was it was it was like my life was coming back together I've had my name down for a fight every every, for every once again everything was back in order yeah do you know what I mean it was all there it was all back in order but then obviously fucking life strikes again don't it <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 hard isn't it you know what I mean but see from where you were at and you like you know your missus and you know your family and stuff like that you've got like a bit of routine back and yeah. was then you know from there you know, you know, I want to touch on, was there anything else that, did you think, I'm going to start doing my own bits and bobs, you know, with the fitness side type of things, you know? With yeah, no, so back, back then, so back then, I always wanted, I always wanted to, I always wanted to own a boxing gym, me. Yeah, that's yeah. Like my thing, I wanted to like, because obviously that's, that's the main, that was the main sport I had when it, from a kid, so I felt like, I could, I'd be able to give a bit, you know what I mean? But it was, it, it was, it still then, it was just like, the odd jobs here and there and stuff, but, but I still couldn't really hold them down, but, wasn't too bothered because I had I was I was back on the street and narrow myself. Yeah, so yeah. I wasn't letting that get me down this time. And I was like, I, I was I had myself under control a bit. I was trying. I was like was building that like sort of mental strength back. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So like, so I was like, but I, I will just keep going with the flow. It's something so, so will click. Something will come together. I'm fit. I'm active now. I'm thinking a bit clearer. Hopefully, so, so, You're so feeling so better than yourself. Feeling better than myself, mate. It was, it was like was it the gym? The gym played the, the gym. Match. The gym, mate. The, every time I've been down and out. It's the gym, mate, that, that pulls you back every mm. time. It was the gym that got me into the army. You know what I mean? It was like the gym that pulled me out of that. All, all the, you know, going, for, going from section 18s and all, all madness, just like fighting with people on the doors. I was on a court case for that. So like pulling me out, going to absolutely hitting rock bottom. And then that pulled me out again. Back yeah. in boxing, hitting the bags, going on runs. That pulled me back out. So with like, say, Fortunes Fitness and Be Dedicated, I want to touch on, yeah. you know, the brand and that. Tell us all about it. What's the what's the score with it? So it's a uh, basically with it. It's um, it, it. So I've been for, I've been through two traumatic things. So the first one was the army, but uh, the, the second one I got stabbed, didn't I? You know what I mean? So yeah, it's like speaking. Yeah. yeah. As 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 I was uh, saying there, it's when I, I found myself the second time round, and I was like, I was on track, getting myself back. Life was better again. So it's like. But like I, I felt like I was going back to that time when I was flying in the armies, getting myself back. I'd, I'd come from like ten years of living in that rut. So like, uh, and then I took the boxing up, and then ended up going to a festival the same again, just going out drinking. Mm -hmm. And I got, I got stabbed, didn't I? Do you know what I mean? So I was like, from that point, mate, being stabbed those states, you know, one yeah. fucking, you know. Where it was, it was you back know. of the back of the neck, side of the face, and the top. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got it from behind, mate. Or from behind, but the mad thing was the stabbing itself. It didn't ask me because it's like I, I, I sort of like not the same like when it when I when I when I like I shot that person. Yeah. I believe in karma, so it's like I'd lived that, I'd lived that that lifestyle. Do you know what I mean? Of like upsetting people, doing things like fucking. Do you know, so like, don't get me wrong. Some people deserve it. Some people didn't. Yeah. But that madness and crazy life I lived for that ten years. Down to your... It's just come round to my to my even. Like, like karma doesn't care if you're back on the street and narrow. You're going, it's going, you're going if to you've get done something. If you've whatever. done, if you've done bad things, mate, it's going to come mm. back and bite you on the arse. So. It's mad to have that thought, though, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, look at it from another perspective. I'd be like, fuck hell, yeah. stop someone carrying a knife. Stay, we, we oh, know. Mate, it. Do you know what, mate? It, I didn't, it, I didn't it, even. It, I, I thought someone was messing. I thought someone was messing with me, and then I turned around and it wasn't like I had, like I touched my face and mate, there was there was just blood, blood, blood everywhere. everywhere, mate, everywhere, like. So to, from from them two traumatic experiences, you know, with the brand be yeah. dedicated. You know, it's yeah. it it's, it looks seems to be growing and growing. And what you know, what's what are you wanting to do with it? And so with with the be dedicated, it's like for me, like like we've just touched on there. I've 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 carried hate around for mm. so many years, and where did it get me? Nowhere. It just just put me in a deeper hole. So it's just it, it with the be dedicated. Now it's me. It's so. I, I started off after after I got stabbed. I, I went into a bit of depression with that. I ended up putting shit loads of weight on and stuff like that. But it was it was it was dedicating myself to two small things. I was like getting up to an early alarm clock, going on walks because I was mate. I, I, after after the stabbing, I was I was well I was well overweight. It was a bit more different this depression than the last one. Yeah, I just put lo I was hiding away. I put loads of weight on stuff like that. So it was a once it, rock bottom for me after the second one was a. I went, I went on a little family holiday up to York, and I, I couldn't, I couldn't even, I couldn't even go for a walk with with, with, with me bird and the kids. I just kept going back to the hotel. I kept saying I need the toilet, and I went, mate. I was just, I was fucking well overweight. 
I was a piss head again, overweight, absolutely waste of space. So from there, I said, I said, I've got to get my head together again now. So this was the second time around. I actually like found myself again. So I dedicated myself to two small things, which was an early alarm clock and um, a small walk. I mean, let me tell you, I couldn't, I couldn't even walk around the block. It was like me, I was that, that overweight. Yeah. But I just stuck with it, stayed dedicated to it, stayed dedicated Up to it. Up every morning early. Every morning, mate, mate, it was killing me in the beginning, but I just stuck with it, stuck with it, stuck with it. But this time around with it, I've, I've brought the brand out because I'm going to use this as another chance to like do something positive in life. And it's like all the anger and everything I've carried around in my life now, I'm spinning it all, I'm spinning it all around and I'm going to push this into something and it's like to, to get out there and help people who are going through similar things like yeah, you said definitely. like I want to teach people don't carry don't carry eight now with you because it gets you nowhere if you're overweight there's ways out of it you know what I mean there's just I just want to become a positive symbol and it plus me helping them it's helping me as well because you still you still do you're, you're still turning a negative into a into positive, a positive yes, face. Yeah. so it's like I still I still can be a bit angry I still can be grumpy, can, that's yeah. just me do you know what yeah, I mean yeah. but it's I'm I'm using it now. You're channeling it better than you than you used to. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. So so I'm I'm getting it. So it's like for me, you know, it's it's I'm not gonna tell people it's an easy road because it's not. But with me coming out now and speaking about it and making a brand about it, I know I can help you to get to that better place because I've been in them shit all. You've I've lived been, it. You've I've, lived, I've it. lived it, mate. So anyone anyone who is struggling at the moment, it's like if they reach out to me. I, I'm, I'm going to be setting loads of things up, like circuits and stuff, so I, they've got places to come. It's yeah. Just that I know fitness works. Because some people go to the gym, stay, and, and if they feel uncomfortable, because they might be a bit overweight and yeah. whatever, and they don't. Oh, mate, it's, it's and, and when you go to the yeah. gym and all that, and people, and, and some people are fitter than people, and some yeah. people are stronger than people, and some people are not <laughs> the prettier than yeah, other people. Yeah, yeah. But the thing you is might want to just go and, and you yeah. know, your, your that, circuits that's, or whatever, that's mate. Why, that's why, mate, I've... I've, I've put myself out there now. That's why I've come. I've always wanted something to push. Now I've got a brand. I can push it. I'm literally starting it from scratch on my own. So I've got it. I've got it. I can push it. I feel, it's like close to my heart. I can feel it. And like I said, I've always been able to express myself physically. Mm -hmm. So now I've, I've walked a walk. Now I've got myself in shape. Yeah. I've lost the weight. So I know now I can give all this advice to help people. Do you know what I mean? I know they could be at the worst possible starting point. But if they stick with me, follow me, I know for a fact they'll get them to brighter days. I'm, and and people can follow you on like on socials and I can't yeah, yeah. on Instagram socials and stuff. Meet, we'll yeah. put all that in the description, you know what I mean? Yeah, with yeah. all your, your, yeah. your channels and stuff like that, or, or how to follow you and stuff. And like I say, stay, even sitting here listening to you speaking, and I can see the smile on your face because yeah. it's like in, in, in anything in life, if you're dedicated to something or, and your name's yeah, behind it, you, you're going to fucking front oh, it. Mate, it's I, full, I, 100%. Yeah, and I'll I can see be yeah, dedicated yeah. is going to be. It's gonna play a big part yeah. in your life, but also you're helping people. And that's the main thing. And that's the main I've, thing. I've 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 sort of stayed in silence and, and got myself better over a year and a half period. So I know my techniques and things mm. I don't work. And I'll help people so, who are yeah, struggling. So, so I don't I don't want to keep all that to myself. I want to put myself out there now and 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 push people and get be that person people can come to to say, What did you do? How, how did you do this? And I'll I'll gladly show them there's gonna be there's gonna be so much coming next year to help, yeah, to help people. Well, that's great and I know you've been doing a few bits and bobs, a few runs and stuff, and yeah. you know trying to you know raise money and stuff like that. To, you know, I know you're doing something at the moment for Christmas and stuff. It, it, yeah, so I've just I've showed the, the first little project I done was uh, I done a run, but I done it uh, I put the the, uh, the hats and stuff I put on sale. I, I took a percentage out to uh, to raise toys, you know, for the kids for Christmas, and ended up raising three hundred and twenty quid, and I got got like over thirty toys. It was like it's, it's going to put it up on my socials, but that's probably the proudest. Even though I've got myself. Like on the runs and bamba, but no doing that is like the, that was the first project for the. For, it's like for being the back in the army, that, that it, proud it, it in your stomach. Me, you to, to, that do it, to, stomach to, to, to do it, to do it, mate, was was just like because it's like I said, I said to me mates, even if I only would have, even if I only would have got one toy, enough money for That's one, one toy, one kid that was that, that was a win. The thirty kids who yeah, yeah. probably got fucking nothing, nothing, but now and that, look, and that's from that's stuff. from you turning a negative into a positive. I'm doing what you're doing, mate, yeah. and it's fucking brilliant to fucking see, you know what I mean? That's it. I'll be pushing it, mate, now. And that's, that's that's good to see, you know, just speaking to you and you smile and saying, yeah. you know, you know, this brand and whatever and, and listen. Because I found I found that like that lighting path now. Now and I'll use all all my adrenaline, all my anger, Your energy everything. and everything this, just gonna it's, channel it's all, them that it's way. It's all yeah. gonna be it's all gonna be positive now. I'll push it hard, mate. That's what you want, mate. Yeah. So family life, but your missus, the kids, you, your yeah. mum, dad. How's it going now? Is it you know? Yeah, so everything's right right now, mate. So over the past two years, right now, everything's everything's in the perfect place where it needs to be, mate. Yeah. And it's like 
I just, I just, I just one day at a time now, mate, and just, just enjoy life. Do you know what I mean? Like you say, it's just t- turning negatives into positives, mate. So that's why keeping the discipline and getting up of them, even when I feel like shit now, it's like, well, get up and do it because I know it makes you feel better. Yeah. I'll never ever let myself fall back into that feeling like shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Never again, mate. I've promised myself that. And as I say, that, that I just want to, I want to, want to be that person to help people. E- even, even if I got one person, mate, that one person. You and change, I could help them you're helping them yeah, yeah, that's that's a win for me that's that, that that's a win for me that's it so you mrs Haley, she's played a big part yeah you. i mean i don't i don't even know if she's still with me to be honest but like she's obviously she's obviously she's seen because that means I've, I've been i've been fucking i've been a cunt mate over the years and i mean a cunt and people are probably still looking think why is she with you but she's stuck by me and now it's like with this i just want to i just want to do me family and she's probably really behind you with everything isn't yeah, she? you know yeah. what i mean and that's she's still got to read the letters in that form <laughs> <laughs> <Fill the phone. laughs> <laughs> but you know what it's great mate that you know to see you know you come and shared your story in regards to like army life adapting to civilian life and anger and stuff and and listen no one's a fucking robot we're all human yeah. you know we've all got you know Arms, legs, eyes, fucking, you know what I mean? And it's no one's a robot, no one's programmed to you do this, you deal yeah. with this. We all have feelings. Unfortunately, we, we, we deal with feelings differently. Yeah. Uh, and it's great that you've come on and you've shared your story with us, mate. And, you know, I just think a lot. there's going to be a lot of people out there who've been in the army. Yeah. Uh, and and, and they, they might come across this podcast, whether they do or they don't. But like you say, if one person just reaches say, out, need, reaches mate, out, yeah. mate, and that's, they get something from it, that's all the need. And that, this is why we wanted you to come on because right. I knew you had a powerful story, and it's good that you know you've come on and you've shared it, and you've got strong misses behind you. You've got like you know your, your mum, your, your dad, you've got everyone behind you. You know, and, and also I know there's a lot of friends who are fully behind you. Yeah, yeah. message me and stuff, and I've got, yeah, I've got, I've got low. Like there's, there's, there's some friends. They know the army. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. Even I don't even like the, the lads. The lads who are army now. I don't even have to mention me because they they know exactly. Yeah, what I mean, do you know what I mean? The, 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 lad, the lads who are with me now, some, some of them, it's some of them, it, I only met like five years ago and stuff. But the lad, the lads who are army now pushing me in the right direction, they know the army. You all, you all help each other, which is yeah. the main thing. And That's basically, it. so what's in the pipeline for, for Steve Fortune? Well, mate, also, just I'm just putting all my efforts now, mate, into into it. So we, just, we've got a strong man gym as well, haven't we? So that's going with that's getting put into different aspects now of like we started off. Where you based? But that's in for Zachley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we started off small, but now it's like, wait, with this be dedicated thing and that, we're going to change different aspects. So that's where I'm going to be holding all the circuits and that. So yeah. for me now, mate, I know fitness got, got me back every time. So it's just my fitness journey now doesn't stop. I'm just, I want to do, I want to challenge myself every single week. And trying to help people in and, the process. And, and it's, so I'm going to keep myself on point so I can be that person to go to for other people. You know what I mean? That's my, that's my thing I need to do now. So I'll be that approachable person because like I say, the things I've been through, nine times out of ten, I've probably been what you've been through. So yeah. I can relate to you and I can help you to get better. You know what I mean? That's fucking brilliant, mate. Today, listen, been, uh, it's been emotional, mate, and it's been a roller coaster, like I said. And uh, I just want to say thanks very much for sharing the good, yeah, the bad, and the ugly, mate. No worries, mate. Thanks, Steve. No worries, I can't. <laughs> This week's episode is sponsored by Sorb Events Limited. They provide Sorb football, battle tag archery, UV dodgeball, sports days events, inflatable assault courses, plus many, many more activities coming soon. Ideal for sports teams, presentations, birthday parties, stag and hen parties, corporate events, school, and half term summer camps, any occasions. Give them a follow and use the code The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly podcast for 10% off your first booking. Tony Morell.